For IUPUI, we have head coach Austin Parkinson. Uh, we'll let coach open up with a statement and then we'll open it up for questions. Uh, obviously very excited about the win. You know, we come out here and, and uh, we felt like we kind of let one get away at North Dakota State. Uh, and then obviously you're going to come in here to a team that uh, is obviously the top team in the league and, and unbelievable at home. And so uh, proud of my kids for fighting and, and finding a way to get it out the end and uh, just happy to get the victory. Questions for coach? Coach, there were a bunch of moments in this game where it just looked like it was going to be your night. You know, they, they were missed luster throws in a couple threes. You know, her percentages don't say she's going to make those. Their kids struggles. Did you did you have that sense that despite the turnovers, you guys were in position and, and you you know you pulled this off? Yeah, we throw that sucker all over the gym sometimes. You're right. Uh, you know, Dawn uh, Dawn is actually a pretty good shooter. She just doesn't have a high volume uh, of shots. The one that kind of made it me think it was our night was uh, you know that shot clock winding down and Deer kind of throws it in and. You know, that's, that's one of those that, you know, we, we, we played well enough to put ourselves in position, uh, and sometimes to win a game like this, you need some breaks. And then, you know, our kids made shots, and, and obviously they missed some. So, you know, just fortunate. Uh, you held not only ID in check, but ID in with Josh. You can just frustrate him all night. What, what was kind of key to that? Well, you know, we guard, I, I think percentage-wise, we guard the three-point line, I think the best in the league coming in. Uh, and obviously, South Dakota State's the best three-point shooting team. And, you know, one of those was going to budge. And, um, you know, I thought we guarded it pretty well. But I think the challenge I laid out for our kids coming into the game was, um, and you'll have to go back and check this, but I, I told them I, the challenge was to out-rebound South Dakota State. Uh, I don't think we've done that since I've been here. And it looks like tonight um, we were able to do that. And, you know, that was a big difference for us. How does this just sort of change? Uh, not, not only for you guys in terms of beating them for the first time and, and the confidence and doing it here, all that kind of stuff, but you know, the, the more a team kind of runs through through a league, it can affect the confidence of everybody. How does having somebody you know beat them and do it in this building now? Yeah. How does that sort of, sort of shift things? Well, for our program, I can't speak for everybody else. For our program, it's obviously a very big win, and um, you know, I, I felt a little bit bad. Our kids kind of got a little excited afterwards, you know, but you know, that's a big win for them. I mean, we haven't had uh, a, a big win on the road. And we've had a couple of We had a nice win last year against Oral Roberts at home. But uh, to go on the road, and especially I have so much respect for the South Dakota State program. I think, uh, you know, AJ does the best job in the league. They, 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 it's so funny is our kids, I think, probably get tired of me talking about South Dakota State's women's program, how they do things right in the process all the time, and that you just can't flip a switch. And, you know, our kids haven't quite figured out that consistency yet that this program has. But, you know, obviously tonight we were able to play well enough and uh, play well defensively to, to get the win. And, and you know, we're, we're very excited. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.